Three years ago, I mentioned in a video that I couldn't make a top 5 on Saints Row 2 mods because there was a lack thereof at the time. But now, there's a large variety of Saints Row 2 mods on SaintsRowMods.com. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Not only do they range in creativity and scale, some are complete overhauls of the game and create an all new gameplay experience. This is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today we're looking at the top 5 mods for Saints Row 2. To qualify for this list, the mod must have a significant effect on the overall game. Mods that are only reskins or restore cut content, though very cool, will not be included here. With that in mind, let's begin. Coming in at number 5, we have Caboose's World Z mod. Considered an impossible feat for the longest time, Caboose finally cracked the code to have zombies in Saints Row 2's free roam. All regular NPCs except for gang members are replaced with the uprising zombies, so you only encounter the undead and very few gang survivors on the streets. To play the mod properly, you need to start a new game where you'll be thrown into hordes of zombies with only a baton and pistol. You start off pretty weak until you pick up better weapons from survivors or find enough money to purchase weapons and vehicles. Since you can't play story missions or activities, the only way to make money is by killing zombies. When getting surrounded, it can be surprisingly tricky to escape. Compared to their uprising counterpart, these zombies take a lot more hits to take down. So unless you have some shotgun ammo, you're likely to be devoured. There are new zombie-themed weapons in this mod, but they'll cost you a pretty penny before you can unlock them. Trust me though, they're definitely worth it. Foreign Power now sells cars more fitting to the zombie apocalypse, like the construction and demo derby vehicles. So, if you have what it takes to take on endless hordes of undead, I highly recommend downloading this mod. For fans of Saints Row 1 and Texture mods, Fusion h 20 Saints Row 1 Texture Pack has you covered. This mod's purpose is to replace the game's graphics with those from Saints Row 1. Buildings, clothes, vehicles, and times of day have all been altered to match the prior game. Not only that, elements of this mod also include the works of Masamaru's high-quality texture pack. So some weapons have a more realistic design and the grass has never looked so beautiful. When you first start up the game after first installing the mod, you're shown THQ and Volition's original openings. Even the main menu has been changed to Saints Row 1's original backgrounds. This mod is still a work in progress, so certain things can look glitchy, especially when you're flying over the map. Other than that, this mod is basically Saints Row 1 for the PC and a Saints Row 2 HD remaster all rolled up into one. Saints Row Mods user and popular cutscene manipulator Masako Team has currently been working on one of his finest creations to date, the Ultor Rising mod. In this mod, you play an entirely new campaign as a Masako soldier, attempting to retake Stillwater from the city's four gangs. As of the time of making this video, Ultor Rising only has three missions and six strongholds, but even now, it's a complete blast to play. The campaign takes place at the start of Saints Row 2, where your objective is to clear out homeless in the Saints Row district. Every time you complete a mission, you see the progress of the Saints throughout the city. It's a pretty awesome aspect to the mod, and it can only get better as Masako adds in more levels. Masako has also created four new weapons in this mod that include smoke, shock, and fire grenades, plus dual nightsticks. As of now, the smoke grenade is only a visual aesthetic, but the fire and shot grenades are quite powerful. <laughs> Shit, I thought there was gonna be a fight. Without activities in this mod, many of the strongholds are a lot harder to accomplish due to the lack of upgrades you normally have. Luckily, new drugs and alcohol have been added that can make it easier to survive in combat. This mod also includes a new crib that is the police station. You could purchase weapons and change your Masako outfit, so it makes for a neat base of operations. When in free roam, you can recruit cops and ultra security as your followers. They could prove to be quite useful if you have full gang notoriety. Though this mod is still fairly new, it feels like an official expansion to the game that could rival that of Grand Theft Auto 4's Ballad of Gay Tony. Hopefully, Misako team will continue the work on Ultor Rising, and it can easily rise up the ranks of the best Saints Row 2 mods. Oh, oh, oh. 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 
At number two, we have Ryan Saints Nova SPE. It's hard to know where exactly to begin with this mod. It offers so many features that it's wonderfully overwhelming. Before even starting the game, you have the option of 12 main menu themes. Some of these are quite awesome, like the Saints Row 2 original beta menu, or you can relive the nightmares of 2016 with the election theme. Are you running? Are you not running? We're dying. As for gameplay, Ryan has restored a variety of Sintra 1 animations left over in the files like walking, running, and even multiplayer taunts. There is also new female animations, taunts, and compliments. For firearms, Ryan has made four new weapons that include throwing knives, a tommy gun, dual knives, and a grenade launcher. For existing weapons, there are 15 new skins. My favorites include a money shot theme McManus, a green pimp cane, and a Sintra 1 version of the pimp slap. Homies now have a variety of outfits to choose from. Agents of Mayhem fans should get a kick out of Johnny Gat and Pierce's AOM themed skins, and there's an interesting beta skin for Shondi. New homies include a Saints version of Donnie and some story characters from Sintra 1. Three new gangs are also in this mod, like the Biker and Goth Gang, plus Rogue Saints inspired by the cancelled PSP game, Saints Row Undercover. Ah! Even with everything I mentioned, there's still an array of things this mod offers. A new crib, more radio stations, new missions. It would just be an injustice to have it all here, so I highly recommend downloading this mod so you can discover everything for yourself. Of course, at number one, we have Gentlemen of the Row. Created by Idle Ninja, aka Volition's community developer Mike Watson, comes the quintessential mod that all PC users should have. Not only does it help Saints Row 2's performance on PC, it offers a vast array of new modded items and customizable features. New pieces of clothing, logos, and suits have been added, plus the ability to wear the outfits of story characters like Mero, Shogo, and Mr. Sunshine. You can even swap out your character with any NPC model in the game. New weapons in this mod include the Majestic Septic Gun, Chainsaw Launcher, Lazarus Gun, and many others. Cut weapons are also encompassed like Saintro 1's AS-12 Riot and the Mac-10. Car customization has been enhanced and you can now customize aircrafts. That's right, aircrafts. Three new cribs are also incorporated in Gentlemen of the Row, like Aisha's home, the Phillips building, and the Ultor yacht. Sandbox Plus is another feature in the mod that lets you type in commands to access any animation in the game, teleport to specific locations, and swap the layouts of certain areas. Gentlemen of the Row offers a vast array of content. Besides, without it, all other mods on this list wouldn't even be possible. Well everyone, there you have the top 5 mods for Saints Row 2. If you'd like to download any of the mods you've seen, please check the description below. Like always, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. You look after the herd, I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today.